Here's the video review for Master Shooter Collectible 01 uh, at the MS-01 Mega Gun and Brown King. Uh, you remember I reviewed the prototype uh, or test shot version of, of Mega Gun a while back. Um, I got my final versions of the figures at BotCon. Uh, you can get them at Captured Prey, I think is where they're at. Uh, they're exclusive to Captured Prey Toys. Um, and I'll put a link down there in the video. Um, but they're just little version. Well, they're they're, they're not they're not actually supposed to be Megatron and Browning. Um, the basic story, which is which is a little juvenile, is basically Unicorn, who on the in the box. I wish I had the boxes still. Um, on the little packaging it comes with, looks like Unicron, but instead he's got like a horn. He's only got like one claw around his mouth, and it's up above the mouth, so he looks like a unicorn. Um, and he's like white with per like a purpley pink. But anyway. Um, Basically, Unic Unicorn built, rebuilt Megatron and uh, burped his magic gases to rebuild Megatron, and the leftover burp mixed with some spare parts of Megatron and made Mega Gun. And then, uh, as he departed, he farted. And when he farted, it ripped open the space time continuum and out popped Brown King. Yeah. Anyway, um, but the figures themselves are actually uh, pretty cool. Um, they're just little Target Master. You know, they look like Megatron and Browning. Um, certainly homages. Um, but but they just turn into little target masters. Again, if you saw my earlier videos, uh, you saw the, the basic version. Uh, you can see these are painted. Uh, Megatron has his eyes, or Mega Gun has his eyes, and some little, like, abdomen details. Um, the the Up here, is, it's not beige anymore. It is the proper light gray plastic um, with, with a nice darker black leg. Whereas Brown King here has brown legs and an upper black body with a light gray barrel. So yeah, uh, one of the other benefits uh, of these versus the uh, versus the uh, test shot I saw is that the uh, the peg here, which does plug into the uh, the gun, you can actually split his legs just a bit and pull that peg out. So uh, you, you can actually stick that, store that in the little attachment piece and set that off to the side if you want. And now uh, they've got a little bit of leg articulation as well, um, unlike the original where the peg was glued into the legs and it was just all together. So yeah, to transform them, you do need to leave this peg. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece off. This is just a little connector piece, and I'll show you how that works again here in a minute. But you just took, make sure the the peg goes back in the legs. And you just pull off the uh, little fusion cannon here, and then you fold this gun up, this forward, uh, just like that. Uh, rotate the arms up, and then pull them up onto the back like that. And then you'll see there's two posts here. Uh, you, there's one on each arm, and you can attach the fusion cannon to either arm, like you saw Megatron had it on his right, Brown King's got it here on his left. We just uh, fit that over both the pegs, and on the prototype I had, like there were there were some minor stress cracks here, little tiny ones, tiny tiny, barely noticeable, um, but they fixed that as well. Like there's there's no there's not as much pressure needed to put this on, and this plastic is a lot is a little bit thicker, so it's not cracking like it was on the test shot. And then just fold the legs up, and you've got this little uh, little gun version of Megatron here, and uh, we'll go ahead and transform Brown King as well. Just real quick. Or Mega Gun. I say he is Mega Gun. He looks like Megatron, but Mega Gun. For, you know, let's not get sued purposes. And uh, flip that up. And put them together. And uh, there, there is a stepped peg here. Um, so, like Rodimus, which has a, he has a, who has a slightly smaller peg hole can hold the lower part, uh, so you can have them in other guns. And then this peg fits uh, most standard 5mm pegs. Um, here's Starscream holding Brown King and holding Mega Gun. Um, now, Mega Gun's a little looser in Starscream's hands for some reason, and that's just slight variances between both the manufacturing process on these guys and the uh, the hands on your standard five millimeter pegs it's because it's, it's not he's not super loose just he's just a little bit looser here than uh than brown king and it's just like i said minor variances in, in each thing because i put 
Brown King in Starscream's right hand, and he's a little bit looser than he is in his left hand. I can put Megatron into uh, Thundercracker's right hand, and it's super tight. You know, like it's, it's just minor, minor variances that just translate uh, when you're looking at a bigger range of motion down here at the bottom. But it's not, and, and, and part of that too is if you look, part of that too is Starscream's wrist turning. So, you know, just moving a little bit on this hinge there. Um, so it's not bad. Uh, just, just be aware that there are little variances in the uh, peg thickness. Now these pieces right here basically allow uh, the wider part fits over the attachment here, which lets, which lets you plug Mega Gun into the wing, and yet uh, still use the uh, the missiles that come with Starscream. So you can have him all armored up. And again, since the peg is a little bit variance, it's harder to stick it. Although he's tighter on this wing, so again, it's just, it's just micro variances that can end up playing a little bit of havoc, but uh, nothing major. And, uh, and again, you can put the connector piece on. And see, this connector piece is sitting over that a little loose. So it's... Yeah, of course you fall over. So we'll plug Mega Gun in over here. Or Brown King in over here. We'll plug Mega Gun in over here. Um, and see, even Mega Gun, who was tight up in the front, is a little loose back here as well. So... I'm not going to transform Starscream all the way into jet mode, but there you see he can deploy both of them on his wings along with his launchers when he's in jet mode, if you, if you choose to do that. So yeah, uh, that, there you got uh, the Master Shooter Collectibles MS-01, I think MS-01B is what they're calling Brown King, um, but just little, neat little target masters, they're about the right size. Um, and like I said, I usually have Starscream holding him on my shelf, and I've actually got Bug Bite from the 2007 BotCon set holding Brown King, uh, since they're both little alternate universe characters. I just thought that was cool. So, you, you can have anybody hold him, but Brown King is generally held by Games of Deception Bug Bite, whereas uh, Henke Starscream generally holds Mega Gun. So there they are. Uh, you can get them at Captured Prey. I'll put the link down there uh, for you. Uh, MSO1, Mega Gun, and Brown King.